So I've just parked up and the light hazard has come on, restricted performance. It's something that's just started to come on and off for the last couple of days. And I'm going to show you how to fix this shortly. So a lot of the <coughs> online stuff that I've looked at has said that it's down to a battery fault. In my case I knew that wasn't um, going to be right because I've had the battery change recently. So doing a bit more digging someone said it had something to do with an intercooler hose um, and check that and sure enough there was a little crack in the hose which we need to change so I'll just point out where it is first of all then we'll take it out and I'll show you the cracks so if you look at the dipstick here go to the right a bit and you've got this housing of wires just goes straight down below it and if you go straight here, you can just see the outline of the pipe. I'll move the camera in. And this is the pipe. And this pipe, on the right hand side here, has actually got a split. And that's causing the complication of restricted performance. Because there's all sorts of clever sensors sensing the air going in and out of the turbo. Um, and if that pressure's not right, it will then protect the engine um, so quite difficult to see but to take that out it's really two clips there's one jubilee clip on this side and the pipe goes all the way down to the bottom of the engine goes all the way to the left and then comes back up and goes into the intercooler chamber here so not much room to work with but if you follow that pipe round you'll see another Jubilee clip in the corner. So I'll now show you what the pipe looks like new and then I'll take it out. Thing I didn't um, explain was of course, I can see that pipe just, but really what you need to do to check the pipe is to undo this cover, um, very easy to do. One screw here, one there, one at the back there and then just lift, there's actually a pop it there, so get to that corner then lift it, lift it up, give it a tug, it's just a clip um, and then that comes clear and then you've got better access um, to the pipe. The pipe that I've just bought, £122 genuine part from Range Rover um, and at one end of the pipe, this is where I was saying we had the crack it's around this side so that goes in there's a jubilee clip it then goes all the way down to the bottom of the engine all the way to the left you can see these two humps here and then back round and there's another jubilee clip and actually the tricky part of this job is going to be to get a screwdriver socket onto the end of that jubilee clip to undo it and to tighten it because there's not much room to work with but I've just about squeezed in a socket with a ratchet like this, six mil, and the space you're going to have is very limited when you go into the engine department. So we've got to get onto that to take it off. And this one at the top that goes in is relatively easily easy easy access. So I'm going to try and remove that pipe now. Um, and then once I've taken it out, I'll show you and hopefully we can see the crack in a bit more detail. The old pipe out. One thing I did have to do was take the floor panel off um, because the only way you can get the pipe out is you've got to push it through the bottom of the car. Um, so not too bad. Um, I tried to do it without taking the floor panel off, um, but you can't. So take that off, it's only about six screws um, and I'll show you later on um, how that goes back on for those of you who are not sure. So here's the old pipe, um, two Jubilee clips and as you can see right there is the hole. So that is the culprit, it's a common fault. When I went to pick up the pipe he actually said yeah we always keep these in stock because it's a, it's a common fault. So not a great design again but um, now really we've got to get the new pipe back in through the bottom of the car first of all then put the ends back in and then tighten the jubilee clips a few tips 
um, in terms of the pipe, the pipe that goes up into the engine block is a much thicker wall, so it's easy to bend and push onto the bracket. The other end, however, that is much thicker and therefore you've got to be careful. So start with this one. This clip has to be exactly in the right space, otherwise it's very fidgety. Also, you've got to have a very small socket set, a quarter of an inch drive, because anything bigger than that, if you take a normal socket and then put the adjuster from three eighths down to a quarter, this length from the end of the socket to the end of the ratchet is too deep you won't be able to get that in so you've got to get a ratchet without that um, depth so on the top one jubilee clip you can use that sort of appliance but really on the bottom one you've got to be able to put your quarter inch socket straight on so this is only what about 15 centimeters in length um, so job done um, so I would say the only tricky bit is putting the pipe back on the one on the left hand side, the Jubilee clip, and because the rubber is quite thick it really does need to be pushed on um, and you keep changing the angle, the Jubilee clip, make sure that it's loose before you put it on. If it's tight and you try and expand the rubber it just won't allow it to go, so keep the Jubilee clip quite um, you can see the gap on this one when I hadn't done it, that's how much gap there should be um, on the brand new one anyway. Um, but don't try and tighten that first of all. Okay, so that's all done. i show you the under tray, so you can push the pipe down through the bottom. Basically you've got a few screws, there's one in the middle. There's another one. There's another one. Okay, there's one at the back, the same on the other side. So really, there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in total. Very easy to take off, and then you can push the pipe down. On the top one, I've actually used a tiny extension on the end of the wrench. Very easy um, to locate um, the end of the Jubilee clip there. So again, remember, coming out, there's a dipstick to the left, there's the sort of cables there, and a socket is directly underneath that. So I've undone this now. Now I've just put the cover back on, um, same thing as t taking it off, um, and just to say that I've driven the car, the light has gone off. Um, and now the biggest thing that I've noticed, of course, is the power of the car. I've totally forgotten that with the crack in the pipe, slowly over time, the power of the car had been diminishing um, and we'd got used to it. So the car is really powerful um, because it is 150 brake horsepower turbocharged and I can really feel the difference. So another key pointer, I think, to whether it is this intercooler to throttle hose that's broken is have you sensed that the car is slower than it normally is um, and when you're accelerating you might get the revs I particularly noticed it um, at roundabouts where I'd put my foot down the rev counter would go but the car wasn't really going that quick um, so if you felt that then it probably is another reason why it is that hose. Um, so hopefully that's been useful. The only other mistake in the video is that I said it was a six mil socket to put on the Jubilee clip. It was actually seven mil, um, but hopefully that's useful. And if it is, subscribe um, at the bottom of the video. Thanks a lot, bye.